What's going on? Hope you're doing good. What I'm shooting in this video is my old B3 and 177. I'm shooting the H&N Excite Hammers. I think these are fantastic pellets, especially for budget pellets. They perform really well. This gun seems to like these the best. I haven't tried all of the pellet types that I have because I'm pretty happy with the results that these pellets through this gun make. I've just adjusted on the scope a little bit, so hopefully as I'm doing this uh, shooting session, my zero doesn't move. This Winchester 2-7 air rifle scope has been on a lot of air guns, so it's, uh, it's, it's finicky. But this is 18 yards, this is the same distance that I've been shooting for a while. I just haven't had time to shoot anything further. I haven't had a lot of time this week to shoot, but I'm thankful for how pretty it is today. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and warm here. It's just a little windy. I'm sure that'll I'll be uh, making excuses about that in a minute. But hope you're doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and get to shooting. This is just gonna be a 10 shot group. I'm just gonna see how I see what kind of group I can pull off. This still has the pellet in the in the um, receiver part of the air gun here that I dropped down in there and mashed flat so it hasn't affected it too bad and I honestly haven't had time to work on anything so I'm glad it's still shooting. Uh oh. That's where it was hitting before I moved the scope a bunch. So hopefully our group is in a uh, bottom left the entire time. A little better. I think after this 10 shot group, I'm gonna be adjusting my zero a little bit more. I had it, I had this thing dead on and I dropped it. I leaned it up against the wall and it fell over and moved everything. Held that one a little long. That was four. Now that it's warming up, I'll probably have to take everything apart and and take most of the lubrication out of it. It seems like whenever the temperature gets pretty high, the lube gets thinner and then it gets by the seal and it causes a lot of detonation. So this gun, when I put it together, I didn't use a lot, so maybe this one will be okay. Should be two more. I think since I'm already out here and my kids aren't up from nap time yet, I might go get the Crossman Vigilante out. Still a pretty good group. I've been shooting the, um, the Diana and 22 cal a little bit. That's got me spoiled. This thing's a little easier to shoot, but it's not as accurate.
not the world's worst group. I could probably, I don't know, I could do some plinking pretty good with this thing. It's a fun gun to shoot. I'll quit talking about it. I think I'm going to go get the Crossman Vigilante, and we'll shoot that can a few times. Hopefully we still got some CO2 in this bad boy. I've got a cheap, cheap, cheap red dot on here. And it performs okay, but I haven't shot it in, it's been a while. So hopefully the CO2 has held its pressure. I like this, I like this pistol pretty good. I'm gonna see if I can hit that can. I can't remember the last time I shot this or even what it was zeroed at, honestly. Uh oh, okay, found my dot. And I'm shaky. I know I'm shooting a pistol wrong. It's whatever. Sounded like the pellet didn't even go through. Maybe I didn't cock it right or something. Let's try a double action. Sound like it hit the paper. That was a miss, fair and square. That little green dot is jumping all over the place. Oh, that sounded like it was paper too. Not sure how many we have left, but yeah, that was it. Already got bugs out. Yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun pistol, but I am not the best with a pistol to be honest with you. Let's go check out that target I shot the B3 on, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, I'm assuming that maybe that one was the vigilante. I think I was actually low on CO2. I apologize for that. But that group from the B3 is about two inches, which isn't bad. If you if you've got bad if you've got a bad astigmatism, these little levels really come in handy. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope to be making a lot more content here in not this week, but the next week I'll have a few days where I plan to do a lot of shooting. Hopefully you guys with kids know how it is. Hope you're doing good. I'll see you later.